Hey guys, it's up to be Sim 19 here today, and I am bringing you a, a pretty quick tutorial on how to install Skyblock for multiplayer. Um, lots of people in the comment section were asking me to do a tutorial on this, and so I'm going to go ahead and do the tutorial. And so, um, the a couple of things you will need, of course, are Minecraft, and uh, I'm running Minecraft 1.4.5. Um, yeah, you should update it. Anyways, and then you'll need the server application, and you'll need Skyblock, obviously. So go ahead and open up your internet browser. Um, I'm using Google Chrome, but obviously you can use Internet Explorer or uh, any other internet browsing device. Or not device, software, whatever. But so go to Google and uh, just go to your Minecraft.net website. And then go to the section where it says Buy Now, and under it will say Play Minecraft. And go to the Download section. And where it says Multiplayer Server. Um, it says if you're running Windows on Windows and just want to set up a server easily, download the Minecraft underscore dot server server dot exe. Go ahead and download that. And I believe I have a server tutorial, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to create a server also on this. But so just right click on your desktop and create a new folder and just call it Skyblock Server. believe I spelled that right. And then drag your Minecraft server application into the Skyblock server um, folder. And you can go ahead and double click on that to run it and it'll create a bunch of files. Um, so then go to, just search Skyblock in Google uh, or anything else Bing. Um, I just personally like Google more. Anyways, we're not talking about what search engine we like more. So go to the Skyblock website, um, I mean the Skyblock page on the Minecraft forums website. And go ahead and download either Skyblock 2.1 or Skyblock 2.0. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just download Skyblock 2.1 for this tutorial. And you can, once this is done, uh, it's getting set up, you can go ahead and stop it. Just type stop in the command box. And it'll take you to an up it page. And then, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and go to generate link, click download. And then it'll go ahead and start downloading it for you. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and drag the folder into your Skyblock server folder. You can name it whatever you want to. Um, I just like to name it Skyblock server. And so I already have it open. And so go ahead and right click on Skyblock 2.1. And I'm using WinRAR. You can also download 7-Zip. They both basically work the same. Right click on it and click Extract here. And um, I'm not running on Mac, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that folder. Right click on Skyblock 2.1, click Rename, and then hit Control C, which copies the name of the um, world and then, or the file. And then go to where it says Level Name. It's um, under Generator Settings and then Allow Another. And then where it says Level Name, delete whatever's there. It's, it'll say World it's by default. And so go ahead and just delete that and hit Control V to paste in Skyblock 2.1. And if you're using Skyblock 2.0, you can just change it to 2.0. But so I'm using 2.1, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then uh, click File and Save. And then go ahead and run your server. All right, now it has to convert the map since this was not made in a 1.4.5 world. And you don't always spawn right on the uh, Skyblock world, and so you might have to off yourself and then game mode yourself to fly over to it. But so, um, I'm not going to show you guys in this tutorial on how to port forward. I'll probably eventually do a tutorial on that. Um, port forwarding is basically creating a port from your on your router to let other people join. Um, is there like a brightness setting? It seems dark, doesn't it? I don't know, that's weird. Alright, so anyway, so um, once, it's, when it's, once it says done, go ahead and go to multiplayer. And then you can either add this or click direct connect. And then what you want to type is localhost, and then join server. And as you can see, I didn't spawn, and so I'm going to go ahead and opt myself. And then I'm going to game mode myself in a second. Um, let me respawn. So game mode, maybe step boy, one. Uh, actually... Wait, I, I guess you can't do it from the server anymore. I haven't played Minecraft for a while, so... Alright, so now I changed my game mode, so... Um, I'm still dying somehow. Um, but, so then you can go ahead and fly over to the island, and, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and fly up there. I don't know why you don't spawn. Something's wrong with the spawning system, obviously. 
And then there you go, you're on Skyblock, and uh, you have your lava bucket and your ice. And so, uh, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you. If it didn't help you, I am so sorry about that. Um, you could just rewatch the tutorial or just watch somebody else's, but I'm pretty sure it should work. And so, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a wonderful time playing Skyblock.